Portuguese government says it has identified a series of spending cuts to fill a budget hole to keep its 78 billion euro bailout on track. But there has been mounting criticism these austerity measures are difficult to implement and will put pressure on public services. Joining me on the line to talk about this further is Anthony Bart, economist at ING. Anthony, do you think these spending cuts will keep Portugal's bailout on track? Yes, so indeed, the um, Portuguese government has uh, identified spending cuts worth of 1.3 billion euros uh, to fill um, the hole which was created by the Portuguese uh, Constitutional Court, which rejected for 1.3 billion euros the same amount of uh, spending cuts. So these cuts now, these new fresh cuts include... Um, personnel, public uh, personnel costs, and intermediary consumption. So, um, in this sense, yes, so the, the government will just fill the hole which was created by Boski's Constitutional Court. However, this is not enough for the program to, uh, to, to keep on track. It also depends whether economic growth will, uh, will pick up or not. And this, for this, we still have to wait. We still have to, to uh, be cautious. There has been mounting criticism these austerity measures are difficult to implement and will put pressure on public services. Do you agree with this? Yes, so indeed, um, since uh, the start of the programme in 2011, uh, the, the government, Portuguese government, has implemented uh, austerity measures, uh, which are really painful for the Portuguese uh, population. Um, However, the, the Troika, both the Troika and the Portuguese government, um, believe in the short run, while this hurts in the short run, in the long run this will assure uh, fiscal sustainability. So um, this, is what, uh, this is what we expect. In your view, are we likely to see Portugal exiting the euro in the longer term? Uh, no, not at all, because uh, both on the Portuguese side and on the, the European side, there is a strong uh, commitment to keep Portugal in the euro. Uh, so on the Portuguese side, uh, the government has virtually done anything to, to program on track, anything it could do. Um, and on the European side, um, recent, last week, uh, European finance ministers decided to extend um, the maturities on the bailout loans, which is another commitment that, that to give Portugal extra time to pay back the bailout loans. So, on both sides, there is uh, all that Portugal would leave the euro. Analysts are warning negative growth, rising unemployment, and delayed fiscal targets could even push Portugal to require additional official funding in 2014. Could this be likely? Um, so yes, indeed, the program is, to, is about to end in June 2014. Uh, we see that uh, GDP growth has still uh, not recovered, um, and that unemployment has uh, still not started to to decline. So um, if, if the economic recovery uh, does not come, it is, it is likely that Portugal will have to uh, request a second program after June 2014. That's all for now, but stay tuned to Dukas Copy TV for more exclusive interviews and updates. Goodbye for now.